Good morning, everyone. We are Georgia Petri and Pauline Bjorn, and today we are going to be presenting an overview of the work in progress paper, an interactive garment for orchestra conducting. We are respectively interaction designer and e textile designer based at Berlin University of the Arts, and we were part of a wider interdisciplinary research team with universities related to Einstein Center Digital Future in Berlin. The project is a two months collaboration between orchestra conductors, hardware engineers, machine learning programmers, a fashion designer, and a jazz and electronic musician. As a first development step, we set up a generic wireless IoT wearable system architecture. A microcontroller with built-in Bluetooth low energy support receives data from e-textile sensors and communicates this data to a machine learning workstation based on Wikinator and a digital audio workstation. We talk about an orchestra conductor's movements. As we, I suppose we may all imagine quiet and repetitive gestures. The real picture though is that from our conductor's perspective, some gestures were considered conventional, such as rhythm pattern or closing signal, while others were used as a more personal expression and with distinctive purposes. For example, preparation for entrance or getting special attention from a musician. We set up weekly rehearsal sessions as part of our research methods. Those rehearsals were key moments to observe and record the conductor's gestures. The observation in these sessions included video recordings drawings and sensor data recordings, which were further analyzed. Iterative prototyping was used to assess material functionality, aesthetics, and interaction. This slide shows our first session with a simple stretch sensing layout based on forcing motion, uh, joints motion. We refined possible sensors position with paper tape placed live where deformation was observed on the moving body. The knitted tube was quickly left out as a garment shape, but was used here for exploratory motion and invisible conductance. Regular rehearsals allow us to experiment with sensing materials and techniques. Uh, we use a combination of stretch and pressure sensors. While we kept looking for the best sensor layout in order to improve recognition with machine learning. As a first step, we used machine learning as a creative tool by investigating different approaches with supervised algorithms. The first approach tested with the conductor was classification. The aim was to define five movements that could be labeled and therefore recognized by the system. The algorithm we chose to use was the k-nearest neighbor. The conductor was then asked to select five key movements while conducting a booth. These five movements had to be well-defined and distinguishable, allowing for stable and accurate model training. The conductor then wore the jacket with the textile sensors and assumed static positions that were representative of the movements. These static positions were recorded and used as a training dataset to generate the model in Wikinator. The conductor should be in the position before the recording starts and stay in that position until the recording is stopped. As we needed not only to recognize positions, but also to control continuous values with, bo with body movements, such as filters or volume, we choose to implement an additional part in the system that handles the interaction. In this case, we used a linear regression method. The advantages of this approach are the control of a continuous target value, so the output, the output could be outside the training set and the absence of rigid predefined categories. We use the same five movements we recorded for the classification method. And for each movements, we recorded data of the initial position, one or two intermediate positions and the final position when the movement was at its maximum. In this way, we created a consistent and reliable training data set in order to have an accurate and precise control of the values generated as output, controlling the different sound parameters. 
While we worked from the beginning with available stretch piezo-resistive materials for functional prototypes, a parallel track during this project was the use of in-situ polymerization. It is a DIY method documented and published by Onet and Al that allowed us to make our own piezo-resistive materials from scratch in order to create our own sensors. First experimentations were focused on stretch sensing. While this wasn't completely convincing, we also polymerized a wide range of other materials, such as felt, non-woven, spacer fabrics, or foam, proving the meaningfulness of such technique for pressure sensors. The shoulder pads were developed for and implemented in the final jacket. For the final tailored interactive uh, costume, a see-through material was chosen from the fashion perspective to display the sensing system located underneath. As its rigidity acted against our initial work on stretch sensing, we shifted our approach in order to use its stiffness to apply pressure, notably on shoulders and back. We hope that this presentation gave insights on the project's methods and developments from our perspectives and roles. Additional references regarding the state of the art are detailed in section of this paper that we didn't cover today. Thank you for watching and we are here to answer your questions.